Hello everybody, welcome to the Jagged Alliance 2 Urban Chaos 113 Let's Play. I am Box McCloud. For those that are joining me for the first time, welcome. Hope you have a good time. And for those that um, are, well, that have seen my videos in the past, welcome back and thanks for sticking with me. I had started this game, uh, the vanilla version of this game, in my other Let's Play and... Well, I had a little bit of a technical issue and wound up formatting my computer and losing all the saves, so we're starting over. This is a slightly different version of Urban Chaos, in that it runs on the fan-modified 113 engine, which adds a whole plethora of new features and all kinds of fancy-pants stuff that um, I won't go into details about because it would take me forever to explain everything. Uh, I'll point out relevant changes as necessary. A lot of them will be pretty obvious on site and uh, we'll just run with it from there. Um, one of the big things that uh, the 113 engine adds is an I&I &I editor which allows me to change many different aspects of the game. Um, I have modified the game slightly for my own preferences. Most of the changes are minor but the two big ones will involve training militia. Uh, I will be able to train more militia per sector now at a slightly faster rate so that should make defending sectors a bit easier and should not eat up as much of my time as the previous uh, playlist did. And the other big thing, uh, they added suppression fire to 113 in a recent patch. Uh, this is a rather large change, but um, I reduced the effects of it quite significantly because it adds quite a bit of difficulty to the game. And for anyone familiar with the Jagged Alliance series, it is already quite a difficult game. <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to start fresh here, and uh, we're going to go right into things here. Uh, I'm not going to sit here explaining the plot or anything like that. It's essentially, you know, go to the island, kill dudes, recover stuff, get out. That simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are acting up today. You have to forgive me on that. Uh, anyway, initial settings here. We're not going to be playing on Expert or Insane for that matter. Um, Jag Lines 2 is difficult enough. We don't need to crank it up any further. We're going to stick on ex with Experienced. As far as Max Imp characters go, I now have the ability to create 6 if I'd like instead of the standard 1. I'm going to keep this at 6, although my initial intentions aren't going to be to create um, more than 1. However, if I'm feeling in a good mood and one of you guys are really interested, maybe I'll uh, make a merc and name it after you. If you're interested, send me a shout out and uh, maybe we can work out something. I think it'd be kind of fun. Keep new skill traits on. I'm going to keep the sci-fi game style on. I'm not sure if um, this version of Urban Chaos supports a sci-fi game style, but if it does, we're going to find out. I'm not going to spoil what sci-fi adds to the game. Don't spoil it in the comments either for those new to the series. Be nice, guys. As far as extra difficulty, I am not putting it on Iron Man, which would basically mean you can only save out of combat. If you're in combat, you can't save. And if you know me, I like to save. Probably a lot. A little, little too much, actually. But Excuse me. But the series is difficult enough as is. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit this time, so... You guys don't watch half-hour clips of me reloading and saving constantly, so... As far as terrorists go, I'm just gonna put a random number on. It's not a side quest I usually um, follow, so we'll just leave that on random. As far as Bobby Ray's selection goes, there's all, you know, I can go up to awesome here, all the way down to normal. I'm gonna crank it up one notch. If you add, you know, if I have it cranked up too high, it kind of breaks the game for me. It makes it seem a little cheap to get access to really good gear early on. It's kind of nice to slowly progress up the ladder and slowly get your gear improved and all that. So, same goes for progress speed of item choices. We're going to keep that normal. It could be faster or very fast, but we're going to go with normal. Uh, I don't want to get cheap loot at the beginning of the game and just plow through it, you know. Probably one of the biggest changes that they've added with 113 is a completely overhauled inventory and attachment system. This is a really cool system. It's incredibly realistic. 
but it's also a huge pain in the ass to manage efficiently, especially for a let's play, for me at least. So I'm going to go with the old style of both inventory and attachments, because um, I really don't want to sit here managing small things on every character. It will just get annoying to me, so we're going to stick with the old system. You'll still see elements of it here and there, but for now, that's what we'll have. As far as enemies dropping all items, I don't want them to drop all items. Um, due to the stated earlier, you know, I don't want to um, collect loot too quick because this will just swarm me with loot very early on in the game. And um, well, I don't know. It could be kind of fun, but I almost feel like it would make the game be kind of cheap, you know. I'd be getting full sets of armor and all of that eventually, and I'd be overwhelmed with gear, and I kind of like the thrill of hoping a guy will drop his gun and getting it. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave that off. We'll leave that off. As far as the available arsenal, if you don't have tons of guns on when playing Jagged Alliance, you're an idiot. So you want tons of guns. Plain and simple. As far as secret weapon caches, I have no idea where these are. I really don't. Um... But I'm going to turn all of them on, just in case I stumble across one and it's awesome. So we'll do that. <laughs> when I hit start here, there is no opening cinematic. Blah blah blah, experience mode, blah blah blah, familiar, blah blah, choose wisely, blah, yep. So, right to the laptop screen, because there's no opening cinematic, just due to technical limitations. Furthermore, this platform information screen here, also due to technical limitations. Can't do much about that. <laughs> um due to the way the engine worked, they can't change the website that would have this information on it. So they're just going to display it here. This will probably be quite uh, quite useful in the future, but we're going to ignore it for now. So first thing we always do, we need to uh, need to make our character. So we check our email, blah blah blah, go here, check your character. So we go to the imp site, enter in the code, and we're going to do our their patented four-step process. So, name. That's me. Nickname is Fuzzbutt, and I am a male. Character creation is a lot different in this version of uh, Urban Chaos versus the traditional version, in that it allows me to directly customize what I want. So, I love this portrait. I will always will be that portrait, and the badass voice. You know, that's just a good combo to have. That's what I'll always stick with, so. <laughs> Big body. I'm fine with the default look here. I can change the colors if I wanted to, but... I'll we'll go with the little brighter white. I use bleach, you know. Gotta clean the laundry and stuff, so. As far as characters go, instead of answering a bunch of questions to randomly determine traits, you now get to pick this stuff yourself. Um, you can have character traits. Each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. I'm not going to read through each of these, but if you want, I will mouse over them for a moment. And you can pause and read them if you would like. I don't want you guys to miss out. So I'm not going to actually pick a character trait for Fuzzbutt here. Because, um, well, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I don't like any of the op the options they give you on that case, for my character at least. As far as disabilities go, last time I made Fuzz, but he was psycho, and it was kind of fun, because he's just a psychotic killing machine that likes to destroy things, so we're going to make him psychotic. It's fun times. As far as skills, you get to ch pick a um, two major traits and a minor trait. These also have all kinds of awesome features, which I'll mouse over real quick for you here. And they do have pretty significant impacts on your character. Now, before, Fuzzbutt was our medic, our psychotic medic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make him a paramedic, and I'm also going to make him a hunter. Because it adds lots of bonuses to, uh, to travel. And we're going to be doing a lot of traveling on foot, so, cool. As far as minor traits go, again, I'll mouse over these, and you can pause and look at them at your will if you'd like. If not... Sorry to waste your time. So there's that. And I think I will be 
an athletic type, mostly because it will allow me to move around a lot more, and, well, I'm going to be doing a lot of moving in this game. I'd like to be able to get as much out of a turn as possible with that character. Attributes are the same thing we've seen with the addition that we can now change our starting level with bonus points, so that's pretty cool. No explosive or mechanical skills. We will be hiring people to do that. Lots of lead marksmanship and wisdom, so we can shoot quick and learn quicker. As far as strength, we'll just average this stuff all out at 60 to begin with. Leadership we keep low, that's going to increase a lot throughout the game from militia training and stuff. And we'll put his medical up to 50. Starting level at 3 is a good little balance there. Um, it's not too high, not too low, you know, makes him get on the field knowing what he's doing, so it leaves us 65 points. We'll keep his health at 65. He doesn't need to have too much health, because hopefully he's not going to get shot up too much. I do want him to be pretty fleet-footed, though. And he doesn't need to be too strong, so actually, let's crank his health up, because getting shot's not fun. So this seems like a pretty good setup. His lower skills will train rather quickly in with the field experience, because he's going to get shot up. Everyone's going to get shot up. That's just the way it goes. So we'll stick with that. So we're finished. Confirm. Yes. Bingo. There he is. There is Fuzzbutt. <clears throat> so he's neutral, psychotic, hunter, para athletic, paramedic. Pretty cool stuff. But, however, we need more than that on our team. So we're going to head to aim here. Let's see who we have available. Now, there's no way I am not not getting Hitman. We love Hitman. We need to have Frank Hitman Hennessy. Damn right we are. How big a bag am I packing? At least two weeks, me amigo, with your equipment. Count me in, Ace. Oh, we're counting you in, my friend. So we're definitely grabbing him. Uh, let's see. Anyone we want here. I had Jubilee last time. I don't think I want Jubilee. Why? Because I said so. However, I am going to have some fun with Nails here. Nails is awesome. He's a grizzly biker type. Uh, he's good experience, good marksmanship. He's kind of smart. He's strong. But more importantly, he's got good mechanical and explosive skills, which we don't have anyone dedicated for. He's only 10 grand for two weeks as well. Since we've got, you know, 1,900, 350 bu 19,350 bucks, let's bring him onto the team. What we talking, Scooter? Two weeks with your goods. We got a deal. I'd shake your hand, but these contraptions ain't quite at that point yet. <laughs> Wonder if he lost his hands doing some fun uh, explosives work. Now, I, I don't think Merc is available. Maybe it is. Uh, Merc is the more economic recruiting center. They have cheaper mercenaries for sale. And, uh... Yeah. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, Spec. Is this operational? Hello? Wait. Now, which switch was it? Bear with me. Line out. Okay? Hello? There we go. Please accept my apologies for that. We're just getting the equipment installed here, and I am trying, at present, to work out some of its finer points. You didn't have any trouble finding us, did you? We are a relatively new organization, and for all intents and purposes, you are our first customer. I must say that this is highly exhilarating. I am aware that you may have heard certain things about us, but I encourage you to put them aside. After all, my partner, Biff Abscott, and I are both former AIM members and highly decorated mercenaries ourselves. It's true. ARC is our first attempt to open up the market by offering comparable quality, better service, and unique candidates for recruitment. You will undoubtedly be interested to know why you should choose Merc over AIM. I have prepared, uh, there it is, a list. First, no money is required up front, unlike certain other organizations. You pay only when you receive the invoice. 
Secondly, I am confident that you will appreciate our prices. Oh, really? Lastly, we offer a good range of individuals, and as business improves, I plan to expand my venture, offering more and more mercenaries for your perusal. I will also be updating our web page. In passing, it was prepared rather quickly, and Biff is not as skilled with a mouse as he is with a gun. What you mean? In any case, don't let it deter you. Need some rotating skulls and an under construction banner. So perhaps I could interest you in opening up an account? Biff has, I believe, incorporated that feature. So I'm going to open an account here. I'm not necessarily going to uh, hire anybody yet. On behalf of Merck, thank you for opening an account with us. This is rather important to us, actually, and we ask that you continue to support us as we strive to... <laughs> yes, yes, Spec, I understand. Anyway, Spec was a mercenary from the original Jack the Lion series. Really smart, but a very crappy shot. Excellent mechanic, though. Good to have on your team. Pretty friendly guy. Anyway, these guys offer cheap mercs. Usually their skills aren't the greatest, but they're, as you can see, pretty damn cheap. Excuse me. The only one I was actually looking at was Ayana. She's only 500 bucks a day, and her stats are pretty much cheap. Um, cheap in the sense that almost game-breaking, I want to say. Now, we've got lots of other mercs here. We're not going to look at any of these guys right now. But, um... We'll get to them eventually. That is, uh... That guy's pretty good. I haven't seen him around before. Anyway, we'll be doing that later. We don't have a lot of money at the moment. That will change in uh, given time. But for now, we're going to take that 9,100, you know, 9,100 bucks that we've got. We need to save that. That needs to last us two weeks at least until we can get over here and start earning some income. So at that point, we've got our three guys. We'll be getting more of them. And we are going to land in a Tremo here. Lovely loading screen there. Skip over the insanely loud airport sound. Save it. Now this sector is under attack immediately. And, um, I can't do much at the moment. I am completely unarmed. So I pretty much have a canteen with me. And, um, we just need to let the, the militia do their thing. Because that's all we can ask for at the moment. So most of this first sector is going to consist of me sitting around and hoping the militia gets all the kills in a reasonable manner. Because that's all we can ask for at this point. Yeah. Let's get used to it. So I've hit me and lead the way here. Get him up on the roof so he can watch. Yes. Fuzz butt. You can hide over here. Over, over here. Over, where you going, buddy? Prime. Nails is gonna head this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And like I said, you pretty much have to just wait now. Every time I've done this before, the enemies kind of show up in this area here. But seeing as I'm not armed, yes, not gonna do me a lot of good. See, look, there's our first bad guy. And the music actually seems to be appropriate. How nice. So we're gonna let the militia do their thing. I believe their turns are sped up ever so slightly along with the enemy's turns. Mostly so we don't have to sit there for too long watching. Good job. Gun sounds are a lot different now. There's, there's many, many changes that 113 brought into the game. I turned the big one was the one of the biggest ones really was the inventory system, but it's such an unbelievable pain in the butt to manage at first that um, I would be off screening all the time to manage inventory because I'm kind of obsessive about it. Because you need to have good gear in this game, you're not going to get too far otherwise. So I think I can equip Fuzzbutt's binoculars here. Can I not? 
use binoculars right now. Oh, they might actually be a passive kind of thing. Yep. So I can actually see these guys because I'm equipped with binoculars. It's very useful if uh, you have a sniper because the snipers can aim very far away, you know, because they're snipers and your spotter tells you where to aim. But I'm just going to end my turn and we'll observe the enemies doing their thing. Don't have much else to do at the moment. Yes, more opposition. Specialist down there. Good job, buddy. Seems like burst fire is employed quite liberally as well. That's all right. I do think I need to change an option real quick. The um, targeting reticule is a lot different as well versus the previous version of Jagged Alliance in case you've watched those videos. Yes. I think I have the old style of that enabled. I'm going to change that real quick. It's the new chain state system. So we'll move Fuzzbug forward. Jesus K. Rice. No, actually, we'll have him stand back up. He's not in any danger of getting shot. Famous last words he said. That was stupid. That was very stupid of you, enemies. Say hello to my little friend, really? You're going to be quoting movies on me now? Yes. That's not the brightest idea there, amigo. So this militia is actually trained somewhat. They've got good guns, know how to use them. Bam. You shot him in the leg there. Hey, but whatever gets the job done. I'm not complaining, it's not wasting my ammo. I don't know if Fuzzbutt's actually gaining any experience or anything yes. from all of this. Yeah, a little bit. You can see, if you look closely at the skills down here, there's a little bar that kind of fills up here. Indicates the progress of them for leveling up a stat. It's kind of cool. So he's just going to observe. Maybe he'll learn a thing or two. Shot in the head, minus 11 points of wisdom. That's pretty nasty. No. And he got shot in the leg and fell over. For the life of me, though, I cannot figure out why that other militia just decided to kneel down in the middle of the street and not take a shot. But it doesn't matter because that guy just got mowed down in front of them. Excellent job, team. That guy's got a club foot or something. He's limping along. Silly militia. One of the nice features about this game is that uh, yes. when I clear a sector now, any items that the enemies had on them will be revealed. Good job, militia. Why did you shoot at that corpse? That was a really bad shot, and you should be ashamed of yourself. My god. Some of the worst shooting I've seen. But at least they're killing. And that's what matters, right? Pow pow. Keep on trucking, guys. Good job. Yes. Again, nothing I can do. I'm just gonna end my turn. Nice. Alright. Oh, right. That's right, militia. Pat yourself on the back for that one. Getting a promotion.
this. So let's see. Can't really see much at the moment, but we'll keep moving him forward. Not that he'll be able to do much. I can't imagine there's too many enemy forces in the first sector here. So we'll just keep running along and hope for the best. Yes. Remember, so combat mode's over. It's alright. We'll just let the militia do their thing. It looks like they're all filing out here to investigate. See if these guys had any guns or anything on that I can use. I'm on it. What is that? There's some ammo. What is that? And a helmet. Lovely and all. What is but that? Unfortunately, none of that is what I need. I don't dare go down here in case bad news shows up. Ooh. That's right, I can. Uh oh. Shouldn't open that door. Just got shanked. He's gonna counter shank. Nope. That didn't work, so he just whipped out the gun instead. I like that thinking. Excellent work. <laughs> I like that that train of thought. That's pretty funny. Oh, they spotted a dude. We should go get him. Get running, guys. Got some work to do. Not you, though. You go guard the trucks. Everyone else this way. Yes. Okay. Fuzzbutt, head down this way. Why? Because I want you to. Uh. Keep shanking. Get him. Time to take out the trash. With what? With your bare hands? Oh, oh that guy ran forward and well, that was that. Punch him. Well that works too. Jeez. I must say that seems a little overkill, but you know what, this is war. He's gonna radio in that he's uh stabified pretty good. I don't blame him. That kind of sucks, dude. You should have just used your gun in the first place. Can't say I'm sure about what you were thinking there, but... I'm not paying you, so not my problem. Yes. I'm just going to leave Fuzzbutt here. Ugh. Poor militia's bleeding out down there. Yep, yeah, we heard you on the first time on the radio, dude. Silly militia. So I don't know necessarily where they're going. They may be running down there to assist that one guy, which I'm alright with. If the game exits combat mode, I'm sure they'll just run down there on their own. I may just send Fuzzbutt in to start punching. I do believe he's the last guy left. So might as well give him a little bit of a workout so he can, you know, do his thing. And we're just going to watch these militia make their uh, graceful transition downwards. The endless excitement. Nice if the game transitioned into uh, real time mode here, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So we'll just keep moving fuzz, but someone's getting shot. <laughs> yeah, militia got shot in the face down there. I think he's holding up so well. So why, if th if they both had guns, were they stabbing each other? That doesn't make any sense to me. And again, a lot of things in this game don't make any sense to me, so, you know, what can I say? Keep on 
trucking there, militia. Keep on trucking. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here, and when I get back, we'll continue taking over the airport.